following video has been rated as 15. This means that anyone seeing this message that is under the age of 15 years should click off this video now. Before this video starts, I just want to give a shout out to the folks at the Isle of Wight Creative Network for helping me to create the Human Behind the Rabbit series. All of their links will be in the description. Thanks for listening, and now on to the finale of the Human Behind the Rabbit. This is YouTube and welcome to the final episode of The Human Behind the Rabbit. And in today's episode, we're basically going to be talking about a charity that's close to my heart, which is, in case you've not already known already, Ability Dogs for Young People. So, they're basically an island charity that train assistance dogs for disabled children and young people on the Isle of Wight, like myself. It was suggested by one of the carers at St Catharines that I basically sign myself up to get an ability dog for myself because I'm also disabled and hey, I'm a big fan of dogs, as you could probably tell by me too and the plush pup pack. And just for this episode, I have invited my friend Abby to join us. So uh, yeah, I basically filled out an application form, sent it off, and then I was introduced to something that I think a lot of assistant dog charities should introduce, and that is a session which Ability Dogs for Young People call Pause for You, and it's basically a monthly session where recipients on the waiting list get the opportunity to work with some of the ability dogs that are in training and basically where the charity gets to know you as a person and how an, an ability dog will be able to help you so it's really really good like every month before covid hit i would look forward to my sessions. In fact, at the time of recording this, I had one yesterday and that was fun. Although during the end of it, there was a flash flood. So that wasn't fun. Um, also, while being on the waiting list, I took the time to do a bit of fundraising. And one of the things I've been doing was collecting a whole ton of milk bottle tops i've basically got like a very large collection and the reason i started it was sort of to keep my mind looking forward to when i get matched with an ability dog so my target is to collect as many of these as possible before i get matched and when i do they will all be sent to the charity so they could be recycled to create outdoor garden toys like slides and all that for kids. Another fundraising thing that I did was sign up to their adopt a puppy scheme and here is a certificate that I got at the time. I also did well, I also still do some work for the charity. I do volunteering. Um, at first, I was working in their Shanklin shop, their Shanklin auction shop for a little while. Sorry about that. Jug the camera. Um, so yeah, I was in the Shanklin auction charity shop for a while till COVID hit. And nowadays, I'm helping out, sorting out through recycling clothes and all that. Um, and as you already know, I helped out with their 10 year anniversary weekend celebration and that was fun. Hopefully when I do get matched, I will announce it here first. 
you'll you'll hear it from me first and honestly i really can't wait i am so excited to be able to get my own ability dog like i think especially with how my life is going with uni stuff on the first year of uni especially towards the end of it i was starting to get at my lowest point which was not really fun um but other than that <clears throat> i think that will do it for this final episode of the human behind the rabbit me too would you like to do the honors one last time did you enjoy the video if so then i have something vital to say please like the video and subscribe to chewtube's channel to see more fun videos no abby you will not so please like and subscribe pretty please do you mind sharing the video as well? Thank you. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Till then, YouTube mode out. I've been